Hello, this is Armon. And this is Luke. And we are coming at you with another StarCraft 2 replay. This time it's the ace match between Redwood High School and TJHHS. TJHSST. Oh, I'm sorry. Whatever, same thing. <laughs> right. <laughs> so anyway, Luke has yet to see this game. And he's in for a big surprise. I know it's his favorite strategy. I know it's your favorite strategy. Because a couple of weeks ago, I did a replay of me playing a game much like this, but unfortunately the strategy did not work out the way I planned. And after much, much feedback telling me that I have to do another replay of the game, in which my strategy was actually successful, here it finally is. Luke, are you ready for this? <sighs> I'm... I'm ready. I'm, I'm waiting. Do you know what it is yet? I think uh, that you must. Yes, I, I think I do, Armand. Can you name it for our loving viewers? It looks like Armand is going for the famous proxy hatchery. Um, it's a very absolutely correct. unique strategy. I wouldn't recommend it. Just because Armand right. can execute it so well. And it takes a very long time to perfect. But uh, Armand's been doing it for ages. And it's by far the most viable strategy in the game. Yeah. There's that part too, don't forget to mention that. So you'll see that uh, I haven't expanded yet, even though I'm at 15 drones. But you can also see that I have a drone inside of Mr. Bean's base. Oh god, I just called him Mr. Bean. Lovely. Inside of Mr. Bean's base. And now, here is the fast expansion, because all Zerbs love to fast expand. It just makes it so much fun. And now you can bring the fun to your opponent's base with the proxy hatch. I, I just don't know what to say about this. Um, Bean is going out with his scouting SCV right now. Uh, he has gone for a two racks, but uh, he still doesn't know about the little surprise in space. So um, right now he's he's going to see the pool and the gas. Um, it, if he's paying very close attention, he could probably tell that something's wrong, that the timings of the pool and gas are off. But, um, the, it, it, he's probably just thinking it's a pool first build right now, since nobody goes for a proxy hatch, except our Because mom. it's just too high time <coughs> strategy for most StarCraft players. That's right. Course. So okay, <laughs> look at this here. It's actually almost completed. Spawning pool just popped, gathering gas, because I'm going to enhance the surprise a little for our friend over there. Yeah, and Sean Bean still doesn't know about this. Um, he's sending all his stuff down, anticipating a hatchery at the Zerg's natural. But, ooh, now we have a drone spawning to build a spine in the base and a queen going to pop out. Um, he should, and now he sees it. He sees the creep and immediately pulls SUVs. That's the right response to kill spine crawlers. Um, and unfortunately, this drone is going to die. But he did a wonderful job, and we will honor him forever. Forever. Okay, Ling's starting to pop out now. Now, uh, it's now starting to get very dangerous. Four marines outside of my base into my base. Oh, and here he is right now. Gonna kill this overlord. But that'll give me plenty of time to build something. He should have just ran straight in instead of stopping to kill it. With one marine, I might add. There he goes. Uh, the queen at the proxy hatcher goes down, but uh, more lings about to pop out. Uh, it's getting very tense. Uh, if you let this hatchery live for too long, things can get out, out of hand really fast. And uh, That is a very big amount of marines, though. There isn't much chance that I'll be able to kill it. Unless yeah. he doesn't pay attention and focuses it down instead of... Oh, talking. no. <laughs> and downfall all of the marines. I don't know what to say here. Oh, no. Of that brave company who assaulted the hatchery, none remain. <sighs> Though four marines have invaded my base and are targeting down my spawning pool. Not that it particularly matters, I have my roach worn up. And the enhanced surprise I have planned will be upcoming in just a few moments. <sighs> or I can lose another game, which is I just unfortunate. I can't believe this is working. <laughs> it really shouldn't, but it is. It's 
much better against Protoss. It really should not work against Terran. Yeah, the the critical part where I think Sean Bean lost the game was when just the Queen and two Zerglings killed seven Marines because he wasn't paying attention. Um, that was absolutely painful. Yeah, it, it's hard to get back if you're in a situation like that. Uh, good hold position, Micro. Yeah, I really like that. Made me rage a little. I was wondering what the heck my Zerglings were doing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not that it really matters. Everything goes down. Ooh, it's yeah. Like bunker he just put up in his mineral line. Yeah. You know, this roach is going to wreak havoc inside of his base. So now Sean Bean makes another lovely strategy, uh, another lovely choice. After seeing the ba the proxy hatch inside of his base, he decides, okay, I'm gonna build a command center outside of his. <laughs> oh my, I didn't even notice that. That's, that's something, I don't know what it is, but it's something. Um, Which is assaulting the outside of Mr. Bean's base, doing some very nice damage. He's just probably just gonna wait for these last two marines to pop out and then lift these guys off. That's right. Oh, he's just gonna a lot of damage on them for no reason. There he goes. Okay, guys. there we go. But he does now have three marines inside of that bunker, which means it's gonna be very difficult for me to assault it for now. But with these new roach reinforcements coming in, uh, it doesn't look like he'll be able to stand much longer. He is, however, building three barracks outside of my base. Oh, I actually don't remember how this game ends because it was a bit ago. I think I won. I hope I win. Ah, oh, this is hurting my brain. <laughs> and down goes the barracks, which he could have lifted off about 20 minutes ago, but just left it there to die, and it's going to burn down in the air and rain beautiful burning debris over the roaches. Armand, how about we cast a good game? This is a good game. No, this is terrible. <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, no. This is going to make the people watching this laugh. That's the point. I, okay. Okay, that's good enough, though. We don't need to see the rest. Yeah, this is game over. We can do another one just for fun, though, if you want. 